Hello, uh, this is Rebecca, and today we are going to do our May wrap up, which is the end of May, it's the 31st on Friday, so we are going to just wrap up really, really quickly. The books, I only read one book um, during the month of May, and this is It's A Soul's Calling by Scott Bishop, and I have a review up. Um, I am currently reading The Brothers Grimm right now, and I am like 50-something, I think 58% oh, I am 58% done, so, right now, so, be prepared for like a mini review on one of the stories. The next, um, okay, the next things are movies. I watched 12 movies in the month of what, May. First movie I watched was, um, Dead Moon Circus, which was, um, Dead Moon Circus Part 1, and that's a Sailor Moon movie. Um, fan made, it's made on, you can find it on YouTube. Um, um, and that one was excellent. If you like Sailor Moon, I check it out. I, I would check it out if you like Sailor Moon. Um, the second... Uh, movie I saw was Iron Man 3 in the theaters, and that was a good, really good movie, so you should check that out. If you like Iron Man or Marvel type movies, you should check that out. The next movie I um, watched was Iron Man 2, um, and Iron Man 2 is a really, really good movie. Thumbs up. That was a really, really good movie. The next movie I watched was The Sorcerer's Apprentice. Um, and this movie was good. It was really good. Um, I liked that movie. Um, pretty good acting, I think. You know, the action packed more. Um, the fifth movie I watched was The Avengers. And the Avengers were excellent, excellent movie. I love that movie. Then the next movie, the sixth movie, I watched Guess Who's Coming to Dinner, which is a really good movie, and I haven't seen it. I hadn't seen it. I wanted to see it. So I watched it on TV, and it was really, really good. This one was a 1967 movie. Really awesome. Number seven, the seventh movie I watched was Star Trek Into Darkness. That was an okay movie. Um, even for me, I think I am a Star Trek fan. I consider myself a Star Trek fan, although I don't read any of, my, any of the books or whatnot. Um, I know that I consider myself a Star Trek fan, and I felt like this movie was too long and too in-depth. The next movie I watched was Your, Hi Your Highness, which was um, which was an okay movie, a little towards the end. Um, you have to really be prepared, or not be prepared, but um, you have to really be in the mood for to watch this movie because it's it's very crude humor. It's um, a lot of um, what would you call it, inappropriate dialogue, and I really highly suggest not watching in front of any kid, because it is highly inappropriate. Um, and the next movie I watched was Wing Commander, and Wing Commander is pretty, um, pretty, really good. I, I like this movie, um, it's based on a video game. That, that I didn't know. And this m movie was made in 1989. Old movie. And it's really good. It's actually stars Pretty Prince Jr. So um, I really... Well, sometimes I like him. Sometimes I don't. <laughs> Depends. So in this one, he's like... It's an action movie. It takes place in space. It's really great. Okay. 
The next one is number, the next one I saw, the next movie I saw was Lost in Space, 1990. It was made in 1998, and it was really good. Um, of course, um, I would consider that, like, more like a kid's movie, because it's, like, um... Yeah, it's based on the TV show Lost in Space, and Lost in Space TV show was really old and kid-like, so this one obviously is going to be kid-like. Pretty good. And the next one, the next movie I saw was Resident Evil, and I absolutely love this movie. Now, um, I just love Resident Evil. I think it's really good. And the last book, uh, I mean, movie I watched was Ghostbusters, um, and Ghostbusters is really, really excellent. I recommend this for everybody to watch, because it is a five out of five. Um, and it is really good. And that is the wrap-up of May. Bye!